Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Amanda, otherwise known as the Tangled Skeins Crafter. Uh, I'm going to try not to talk really fast, so I've had a lot of caffeine today. I got home and had a big package from Timu. I got some cross stitch, I got some diamond paintings, and I got this cute little brick kit. Plus I got a bunch of fake nails. It's like my latest obsession. I don't know why. I, I'd never used them until, what, last month? And now I'm obsessed. And I put these on wrong. I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but I'm leaving them because I just prefer how they look this way. Um, so today I'm just going to unbag the cross stitch kits I bought from Timu and check out this little brick thing. And then I'll do a separate video for the diamond paintings because I didn't want to do a super long video this time. Um, let's start with the bricks. If I can find the links to them, if these things are all still available, I will put the links in my description box. Like I said, everything's from Timu. I bought these all myself. Okay, this is just a cute little... It just says, do-it-yourself bricks puzzle building blocks. And I hadn't seen one before, and I saw this, and I thought it was super cute. So I thought I would try it out. Look at these little bitty, little bitty blocks. I'm very fumbled fingered, so this is going to be really difficult for me to do. I know my daughter had did, or had tried to do one of the little, um, like succulent ones, and she could not get some of the pieces to like fit together and stick together, or stay together. And I tried to help and could not, so hopefully this is not as difficult. Let me look at the instructions. So it's not in English, it's in Chinese, but it looks like it's, I mean, most of the instructions aren't like written out, it's just they show you where to put the stuff. So which blocks go on which, so I think this is going to be pretty straightforward. Might take me a little while, but... I guess this is for the face, the head, and then this is the body. It's got um, the list of all the pieces that should be in the kit, and how many of each little piece, and all the different little shapes and colors. I might use a translator app later to see what all this says. But it shows you, at least I'm assuming this is what all this means. This is what you need for this part. This is what you need for this part. And then how to put it together. Has anybody done one of these? If so, let me know. Is it difficult? Is it pretty straightforward like it looks like? I just thought this was really cute. And I'm looking forward to trying it. Plus, look, I mean... So cute. Alright, let me put this up. That was just a quick little something different. Fourteen plus with assembly instructions. Level three out of eight. So supposedly this is one of the easier kits. A set of plastic blocks with different shapes, most of which are colored, can be put on a model. Pause. Alright, I'm back. For some reason, when I paused it, it just would not unpause, and then I had to restart my computer. It was a whole thing. Anyway, for... What is her name? Like, Karomi? It's showing four dollars and ninety-eight cents, and I paid two dollars and sixty-nine cents. So definitely, I feel worth the money for this cute little block building block set. All right, now into the cross stitch pieces. Um, there, all four of these are like a set. It says four seasons scenery, uh, ten dollars and fifty-nine cents. 
a piece and I paid $8.25 a piece. All right, I'm just gonna grab the one on top, which looks to be winter. They all come in the, these nice little snap closed packages that, ah, these fake nails are sticking to. It's really weird. Focus. Comes with a sticker. Shows you the size. 11 count, 59 by 88. 9 count, which these are 11 count, so. Okay. Comes paper chart comes in well paper it's not the chair proof or anything it's pretty thin looks like one two three four five six seven eight pages for the chart thirty colors Hopefully I don't have to use the paper pattern. It's printed clearly, but for my old eyes, it's kind of hard to see some of these. See how light some of this is? My hand's shaking so much. But I just felt like these were all very pretty. Two hundred and twelve stitches wide by three hundred and thirty seven stitches high. On living count cloth we use three strands of embroidery. I don't know why it says three strands of embroidery, two strands. Maybe it's like if there's back stitch, two strands. Who knows? Let us look at the canvas, the Ada, the cloth, however you want to say it. Comes with two needles. Move those to my pile of needles. I'm not going to be able to show you this whole thing all at once. I think that is the bottom. Let me turn it around. Try not to hit the camera. The lighting is so off in here. It's almost 11 o'clock at night as I'm recording this. And it seems like if I record during the day, then the light coming in the window makes everything weird. If I record at night, the overhead light makes everything look weird. Look at that huge block of collar. I have a feeling parts of this will go really fast and parts of it's going to take forever. It's like you don't really realize how big something is until you have to try to show it <laughs> this like i didn't even realize how big this was till i opened it i hope you're getting some of this but it's it's huge let's fold that up a little bit all right it's a pretty stiff cloth but doesn't feel like it's going to be, it'll soften up as I work on it. Surged all the way around so it won't fray. Everything looks like it's clearly printed. Like I said, 30 colors.
I like the ink they use. It's nice contrasting. It's not, I don't see any colors that are too similar. I don't see any designs, little patterns, symbols, whatever you want to call them that are too similar. So this one should be pretty easy to work on. It's going to be kind of bulky. I'll just have to roll it up as I work on it. Probably start from the top and work my way down and just roll it. The parts I'm not working on. Because it is... It's a big one. Let us look at the floss. I hope I'm not going through it too fast. Oh, I did not realize. Look at this. It came with a baggie with two, other than the two that are in the, the material, it comes with two needle threaders and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, like another dozen needles. So that's nice because I do tend to lose and or break needles. Usually not these 11 count ones, but it's nice that it comes with like a dozen or so needles. Let's look at the floss. Looks like there is some in Hanks and then some on floss card. So let's look at the floss card first. And yes, the colors are not showing up as well as I would like them to, but not showing up too bad either. Here's one through 18. Nice kind of autumn colors, even though it's a winter scene, isn't it? I think it's snow. <laughs> Listen to me sound like an idiot. That one's showing up more red than it is. Well, I guess it depends on how close I have it to the camera. It's that pinky red. That's red. And orange and yellows. Blues, browns. Let's look at 19 through 30. Purples, more browns, blues. Pretty colors. I feel like for such a big piece there'd be more, but I think a lot of it is the same color, which would be these. Let's open this up and look. I can't tell how many's in here. Pardon me while I fumble with the bag. I love it when they come in these like skeins, these hanks. It makes me think of whatever I get yarn. Just it's pretty. Some big ones and some smaller ones. So this is where all the floss is. So one, two, three. Well, there's some even smaller ones. It's funny. So big, little, medium, I guess. One, two, three, four, five of the small ones, one of the medium ones, and then three of the larger ones. Oh, it's not doing it justice on my monitor. This is a beautiful, there we go, it's a little bit better. Lavender? Lilac? I don't know, and this is just really pretty green. And it's showing up almost white on my monitor, but it's like a really light minty green. We have blue. It's a little bit pink in there for some reason. Grays, more blues. It's like water and ice colors. I can't even tell where some of these colors are going to go in here. I see some of the light blues. It's just like minty green. I wonder, maybe it's in the reflections. 
anyway I think it's going to turn out really pretty I have no idea when I'm going to start it it's going to take me absolutely forever I'm pretty sure to stitch it but it's going to be lovely and I'm hoping that I'll get all these four done that I love them and then I'll hang them all on walls whenever eventually I have my own house because I don't have any wall space where I live now for these bigger pieces yeah, I think it's a pretty nice kit, especially for what I say, I paid $8.25 or something like that for it. I think it's well worth that. Look at, just for all this floss alone. Alright, let's look at the next one. I'm probably being a little rambly tonight. But, you all are probably used to that too. Alright. So yeah, that was winter. So this one is summer. So this one came in a different bag. It didn't come in the snapping bag. But it came with the sticker. I kind of want to compare them. You want to compare them? really pretty. Anyway, there's the sticker. Yep, there's the bag. The needle threaders and all the extra needles. I'm just going to go through it pretty quick since they're all similar. This one's 212 stitches wide by 337 stitches high, 11 count, 32 colors for this one, 8 pages of pattern. It's on that paper, thin, not, I wouldn't say thin paper, but it's, it's just like a regular glossy paper. Printed clearly, but some of the lighter ones are harder for me to see so hopefully I don't have to look at it too much but it's clear I mean it's it's a good print no smudging just a nice clear chart so 32 colors Same image on it. I didn't look on the other one. Let's move that to the side for a second. It also has the two needles stuck in the fabric. Alright. Once again, I'm not going to be able to show you the whole thing. I'll try to kind of scroll it through a little bit here. I hope it's not making too much noise. Whoops. Walked over. Almost spilled my iced coffee. Again, pretty stiff fabric, but it will soften up with use. It is surged all the way around. Precision. You know, I've been seeing this on several of my kits lately. This little splash of collar. Stamp cross stitch 100%. There's the legend on the side. Wow, this is so difficult to maneuver. 32 colors. I'm knocking my schoolwork and stuff down. Alright, let's look. Again, it's clearly printed, nice contrasting colors. I don't know if you can see it well, but yeah, it's very clear. It's going to be really easy to see, easy to work on. I should not have to refer back to the paper pattern at all, really. I 
I'm happy with these kits. Now, I don't know what they're going to look like stitched up, but just the kits themselves seem really good quality. I like how clearly, clearly they're printed. I feel like for what images, you know, they are that they probably have enough colors to come out nicely, but we will see. Cause I mean, there's detail, but it's not like fine detail. You know what I mean? I think it's got enough colors. Let's look at the floss. This one all came on the cards. So a little more, a little more organized, but also a little more difficult to, uh, Keep untangled. I like it when it comes in the hanks. Look at those greens. I love those greens. Oh, it's coming up. This is a real nice kind of a hunter green, forest green. I don't know, but it's coming up almost a bluish color on my monitor. These are grays. Where's just the lighting in here? <sighs> you're all probably like, I'm sick of hearing about your color problems. Every single video I complain about it. That's a real bright, vibrant spring green. And it's not coming out that way on the monitor. This is like a, well, that one's coming out pretty good. It's a really light blue. So that was one through 17. So pretty colors. A little bit more 17 here through 32. Lovely blues. Dark blue, a little bit of pink and purple. This is more of the yellow green. Then when it's showing up, it's showing up more yellow on my monitor. These are just pretty, pretty colors. It's going to be really fun stitching on this one. Just, it's just a lot, a lot of floss. These are some of my biggest kits yet. I think the only thing I have bigger than these is one I was kidding up myself and it's like the size of my couch and it's a heaven and earth design that I haven't even started on yet because I do not have all the floss yet. Okay, here is probably my second favorite one. You haven't seen my favorite one yet. This one is the fall one. This came in the snap bag. Oops, I forgot to show you the little sticker in case you need to see it the coat or anything on the other one here's the sticker of the image just bright vibrant fall colors 212 stitches wide by 337 stitches high 11 count pages for the pattern. I like the even show the whole fourfold, I don't know what you call it, pattern in here. My camera's too close. I think it's really pretty. There's the image. See standard colors, high definition, printed by Heidelberg. Here in 12 stitches wide by 3 and 37 stitches high. Little instructions for 9, 11, or 14 count. These are all 11. This one has 32 colors also. Oops, 
because I'm already messing up the paper chart. It's really clearly printed, but it is on the terrible paper. I've gotten spoiled with the kits that come with the tear, the tear free paper. I don't know what you call it, but the ones that are really hard to destroy. I'm really rough on my stuff because I just shove them in in my little Ziploc, Ziploc, zipper envelope things and the papers get all tore up. Throw them in a bag, take them to work with me and everything. Comes with the kit like the other ones with the needle threaders and the extra like 10 to 11, maybe 12. I keep losing count, but needles. This one, yeah, two needles in the fabric also. I love fall. I love fall colors. Oops. I did not mean to hit the microphone. I think I've done that several times in this video already. I wish I could show you this whole thing. Um, maybe I can spread them out, take pictures, and insert the pictures. I hadn't thought of that. I will try to do that at the end of the video. Insert pictures of the whole canvas. There's the 32 in the legend. Pardon me while I try to get back to the correct setting on my TV. I hit my remote and turned it off. I'm assuming it was still recording the whole time, so I'll probably, I might, I might just leave it in. Because it's kind of funny that I just couldn't even see what I was doing. I have like a, my monitor is a TV. It's like a Roku TV and I just use it as a computer monitor. But if I hit the remote, sometimes it tries to go to one of the channels and I don't have internet connected to the TV itself, just to my computer. So I hit all kinds of buttons to get back to this. But it's very pr clearly printed. I'm running out of breath. Um, nice, nice variety on this one. Like there's a big box of color, but it's also just sprinkled with a bunch of different colors. I love these fall trees. Again, I think there's enough colors for it to come out pretty, pretty nicely. Pretty pretty is what I almost said. What is this big block down here? Oh, just like shadow, I guess. Under trees. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to working on these. I might go on and just start them all soon, just just to say I've started them. I'm bad about that. I, I'm a serial starter. I'm a mood stitcher, but I also I just love to start everything. Start all the things and then just have them waiting for me. Put a few stitches in them, usually a hundred or two at a time, you know, maybe 400 stitches in one and then just put it away for months. I'm weird that way. Let's look at the floss. Okay, this one comes on a floss card and the bag of additional paints. That was messing with me. I thought the numbers were printed backwards. I just, I was holding it upside down. Yes, Amanda needs sleep, I believe. Even though, you know, I work nights, so this is my normal active time. I think all the caffeine's wearing off. All right, look at these pretty grays. Pink and green, bright yellows, oranges, reds. More greens and blues. It's one through 18. 
pretty rainbow colors there. Here's 19 through 32. I just, I just think it's so pretty. Don't you? All right, let's open this bag. Look at all the little hinks. Bunch of little stains of little hinks. nine of these little ones. Wait, 10, 11 of these little ones. This one's like slightly bigger. And then here's a big one. I just want to just sit and squish them. They're so like bouncy, squishy, soft, but look how pretty. You ever wish you could just like have a bed made out of just skeins of floss? Or is that just me? I love how they look so much that it makes me not want to unwind them and use them. But I have to because I want, I want the finished product more than I want to just look at the kit, you know. But yes, I love just hanks and skeins of floss and yarn. Like collecting stuff like that. It's like an additional hobby. I have a wall of yarn behind me that I just look at and I never use. Occasionally I'll use some of it and then replace it with another color or another brand. But you know, I think we all know that buying craft supplies is a hobby in itself. All right, now for my favorite one. Hope you're still with me after all. This is a lot. Especially when they're all similar. But different. I'm looking at the picture on this. I'm like, did they send me the wrong one? This is spring. My camera's not focusing for some reason. There you go. But the chart is whatever this is. I think they sent me the right kit, but the wrong paper pattern. But let's look. There's the kit with the... Uh, Needle threader and extra needles. This one only came with one needle threader. The other ones came with two. Sticker. Can you see why this is like my favorite of the four? I just love the pink blossoms. It's just so pretty. Eleven count, 59 by 88 centimeters, 212 stitches by 337 stitches. Put the floss to the side for a second and look at the chart. Yeah, it looks like they sent me the right chart. They just sent, or the right canvas. They just sent me the wrong chart. So I'm going to contact them and see. I don't know if Timu will replace it or if maybe I can find contact for the actual company that sells through Timu or however that works and get a paper pattern just in case I need it. Like maybe a PDF version. 
has the two needles in the canvas. Look at all the pink. Clearly printed. It's a little, little busy for my eyes. It's like doing a weird blurring thing as I'm trying to look at it. But I don't think it's going to be a problem when I'm actually stitching on it. Just a lot of movement. Turn 12 stitches, but during 37. This one has 42 colors. 42. Now that sounds like a good amount of colors. No wonder this is so busy, busy. It's got a lot more colors. Because what? The um, winter had 30. Spring and fall had 32. Or no, this is spring. Summer and fall had 32. And then spring has 42. Kind of makes sense to me because spring is so colorful in nature that it makes sense that the image would have more colors too. If I said that clearly enough, it sounded kind of confusing the way I was saying it, but I think you know what I meant. Um, I'm a little disappointed. I'm getting the wrong chart. But, I mean, hey, it's a really nice image. If I ever wanted to try to kit this up myself, I have a nice chart. Mini page chart. Eight, 10, 12, 14, 14 full pages and two half pages. This is supposed to have 44 colors. Like I said, it's a really nice image, so who knows? Maybe one day I'll kit this up and stitch this also. You can buy. Um, if I want to do 11 count like I did with these, you can buy 11 count material through Timu and other ones. I don't know if they sell any pieces big enough for this. This is 600 stitches wide by 235 stitches. But yeah, like I said, a little disappointed I got the wrong paper pattern, but at least I got the right canvas and floss. So let's check out the floss. Look at all the pinks. All right, first. And the floss card. There's one through, sorry, I'm getting them all tangled up. One through 18. Where are you? There you are. Red, purple, blues, pinks, orange, yellow, well, light orange. Very pretty. There's 19 through 36. More pinks and purples. Blue, really pretty blue. Dark blue, there's a really dark green. Some more blues. Just pretty, pretty colors. And then on this one is 37 through 42. Purple, tan, off white, yellow, green, kind of a gold. Pretty bright colors. I think it's going to be really, really pretty. Couldn't have a video without me struggling to open a package. So it kind of just adheres so well that you can't tell where the little spot is. These colors just make me happy. They are so pretty spring, kind of Easter. 
if you celebrate Easter, Easter colors. And some little slightly darker ones. Nine, ex not extra, but nine skeins of floss, little hanks. I don't know what you call because I know the bigger ones are hanks. The small ones are skeins. Or the, would you consider these skeins or hanks? This one's the, what I call the medium, the slightly bigger one. And then, yeah. I just love these colors. Pastels. I love this purple. This purple is so pretty. As you all know by now, my favorite color is purple. I used to hate pink. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I used to just despise pink. It was such a girly, girly color. And everybody expected girls to wear it when I was growing up. And I just did not like it. It doesn't suit me. And what's funny is pink wasn't even a woman's color way back in the day. It was men. Just like heels and makeup. But it became such a gender color, you know? But now I'm drawn to pinks. And I really like those. That I just pop on here before I, you know, put everything away and say that I just got off of customer service chat about this being the wrong chart. And instead of them seeing anything about like sending me a new chart or a PDF version or any way to contact the company, they're just going to send me a whole new kit. So we will see if the next kit has the right chart or not, but that looks like I'm going to have two of these kits. So that's kind of exciting. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm going to stitch two of them, but maybe I can use the floss and, and for something else and maybe like the material, just wash it and have a blank canvas. We will see what happens, but I thought I would just say that and try to insert the pictures of all the canvases. So that is it for my cross stitch haul from Timu. Let me get out all the stickers and look at these images. I'll put the link. Um, all these are under the same link. So I'll just probably just put one link and just, you know, but it'll be in my description box. Let me know if you've done any of these, if you have any of these, if you're going to buy these. Tell me what you think. I think they're lovely and I think they're going to look really nice on a wall, like all hanging together side by side. Or maybe one on each wall. Who knows? We will see. Anyway, I'm going to enjoy stitching on them. That's what matters. So thank you for joining me today. I'm sorry I've been so rambly, but you know me by now. I do ramble. I'm awkward. I go on tangents. So if you have found any value to this video, entertainment, knowledge, <laughs> amusement, anything, uh, please consider giving it a like, maybe subscribing if you haven't already, share it with someone who would enjoy it. And I thank you so much for joining me today. And I will see you next time. Keep an eye out for the diamond painting haul unboxing. <laughs> thank you. Bye-bye.